Didn't DARPA create a warp bubble in a lab? Nope. This is another problem with pop science journalism. You probably remember a whole bunch of articles saying DARPA accidentally creates a warp bubble or something like that. If you actually read the paper that they're citing, no lab science was actually done. This was a theoretical paper. It was math. It was only math. If the math showed that warp bubbles were possible, that would still be pretty big news. What the paper showed was that when you use two very specific models, and I'm not going to go into them for the sake of simplicity here, essentially when you look at the math a certain way, it lines up with the energy values that you need for the proposed Alcubierre drive, which again is also theoretical and not proven to work. So not only did they not make a real warp bubble, they didn't make a numerical warp bubble either. Pop science journalism really wants you to care about whatever new study comes out because we have the 24-hour news cycle that needs to have new material every 24 hours. So instead of actually printing anything about the study, which was about the Casimir effect, we ended up with all this warp bubble nonsense. And a whole bunch of people who only saw the headlines on Twitter think that this is some sort of sci-fi brilliant accident where a warp bubble was created in a lab, and it's just not piece of advice, if something sounds like it's coming out of a science fiction movie, it's probably not real science.